So now we have the pleasure to talk to Aisha Phillips. She's blender and distiller at a very interesting distillery in Wales called Penryn. Aisha, uh, tell us a little bit about the distillery and the different kind of distillations you're doing there. Okay. Uh, Penderin Distillery for a long time was the only one distillery in Wales, but at the moment we already got a few distilleries which are producing the um, single malt whiskies. But Penderin is still the only one which is uh, selling uh, all over the places uh, uh, in different countries, not just in the UK. Penderin Distillery started uh, with uh, Faraday Still which was created uh, uh, special for us and um, it is unique still because it is letting us to distill spirit to 90% which is really very high strength and it's very clean, very fruity and uh, that's why uh, all our whiskies and whiskey range is very smooth. Five years ago, at least six years maybe, uh, we uh, started uh, double pots. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, close to uh, Scottish still, but uh, it's not. It's still got the uh, Pandaren style, it's still got the uh, uh, fruity uh, and nice sweet spirit and um, we're distilling at 75 percent so what got you into distilling Pardon? what got you into distilling how did you start distilling? Uh, how i started yeah. um really it just by luck okay. i would say because uh, i came to uh, uk in 2004 and i was working in the research lab Sadly, uh, lab uh, uh, gone to administration and uh, lost the job. So I was looking for jobs, uh, thinking of uh, the labs. I sent uh, my CV to distillery, and uh, they just called and invited me for a chat. And then that's how I, I started working for Penderen, and uh, I met the Dr. Swan, and uh, started training with Dr. Swan, and then just stayed there. Right. So you're responsible for distilling and for blending as well. I um, well in. In the distillery is three women, uh, so uh, we got the Laura Davis, which uh, is in charge more in the distillery part. So she's looking after the spirit quality and uh, all operations. Uh, we got the Beth Morgan, which uh, is our dis distiller trainee. So she's working, uh, and with Laura and with me, and we kind of uh, all together. And I'm really more uh, involved in the cask inside of it. So I'm receiving the spirit from the distillery and I'm checking what cask and the spirit needs to go and after when it's matured uh, all the samples going through and all the blending and uh, so, so Pandaren has a very broad range actually a lot of different uh, bottlings right yes so if I would ask you to pick let's say three of your favorite ones which one would you show me okay um, I think I would go for Rich Oak uh, it's this Rich one. Oak, yeah. Yeah, it's a full bottle there. So it's um, it's a nice, uh, smooth, rich on a, um, tropical fruits, caramel notes. Um, at the same time, got the woodiness in it. It's full body. It's really, really nice. Okay. The third one, or second one. Uh, probably will be Rihanna, it's our icon, Okay. latest icon, and why I like it, this one is just because it's a different, it's a Grand Cru cask mixed with a sherry, and it's uh, very whiny, some people don't like it, some like it, it's we got a really very mixed uh, uh, opinions about this whiskey, but for me it's really really nice it's got the uh, loads of dry fruits in it it's a nice color as well and the third one I think a third one would be as a single cask and I really particularly like Tony Port 
because again it's got the, the sweetness it's got a nice color and Schlumberger got one one of the single cast which is a uh, Tony Port finish and it's got that fruitiness which is like a jammy fruit it's really very sweet and really nice and rounded your skin so Ashton thank you for, for the time you spent no with us thank you for the interview have a great day here in thank in you very much thank you my pleasure